Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is Kerbal Space Program. Where the Kerbalots are having a new day, wondering what new scheme I have come up with to put them into danger and peril. Um, we've had a bit of a bad turns lately, but uh, we're aiming to do some testing without hurting Kerbalots, hopefully. Now today I've got a couple of little um, things I want to look at. Um, one is, um, I've added a new mod and my mods are listed in uh, the descriptions below because uh, some of my builds previously, uh, which I'll go and have a look at, I've been adding in certain items um, on the stages and if we bring up one of my, uh, let's see, let's load up one of my standard ships, what have we got, uh, what's, what's K2 is, is an example. And like I've put parachutes on this stage and at this stage here. Um, the idea was that when we released them, they would parachute down to the ground nicely and we'd get money back for them. Well, I've been looking up into this problem um, or this situation. And the reality is that um, in atmosphere, as soon as something gets more than about two and a half kilometers away from you, it just disappears. Quite simply, it just goes poof, that's it, gone, goodbye. It's, a bit, it's, two, it's a bit more than two and a half, it's a little bit further. Um, and in space, if something has a re-entry, it just burns up on re-entry and um, uh, you never see it again. So you lose all that money and I was just losing money on, on pods. So I have installed a little extra called um, Stage Recovery. And this Stage Recovery program, uh, we won't see much of it in this point here because uh, it's not going to show you too much but uh, basically um, what it would say is uh, for this item as an example is what would be the speed and how much you would get recovered for that stages um, I'm not sure how it works in designer but the idea is simple if you have a stage that ejects let's take this stage here as an example yeah when that ejects it works out the weight of it and says is there a parachute on top and how much would that slow that down it makes an assumption that the parachute although my staging opened the parachute early it makes the assumption that no they would have actually held it off until the, the correct moment you know some automatic height based uh, parachute system which sort of makes sense um, and then they give you a percentage of the value of the remaining item based upon how slow you're going and how far away the uh, item is from the Kerbal Space Center. So you can get, well, up to 100. If you were to land very slowly at Kerbal Space Center, you could get just about 100% back. Um, but anything uh, below six meters a second is perfect. If it's between six and 12, you get a percentage. If it's above, I think about 12 meters a second, it um, basically you don't get anything. So you need to work out what uh, weight of, of um, item to put on there. So anyway, that's um, we're gonna use that now. We'll see how that works in the various staging um, at, at various points in our next build as such our next uh, ship build. The other area I want to look at is the thrusts and other areas that I've been giving um, towards uh, my ships. Um, in, especially this large ship which we've had problems with getting into space uh, basically and some of it has come down to there's a couple of areas on the lookout especially at these lower levels you can't just bung as much crap as you can on this and expect it to fly you could do but a it's very uneconomic and it's not very scientific um, and you know just just no it's not a good idea so we're going to try to work this out a little bit uh, better now one of the items has that I haven't really looked at, I've just been looking at my Delta V, I haven't looked at my thrust to weight ratio. 
Now, the thrust to weight ratio is important, especially on these larger masses, but more importantly, when you are still in atmosphere or under gravitational pull, you need a good thrust to weight ratio to um, not only increase your delta V, which is fine in normal cases, but to adjust that delta V when you have um, th uh, gravity and other forces working against you. And that's, not, that's something that I haven't taken into account properly. The other area I haven't really used properly has been structural integrity, some of these struts. Uh, so as an example here, uh, we, we were getting a lot, we're getting a lot of flex, as an example, on these sections um, when they are, when we are trying to maneuver. So what we're going to do is add, whoops, not doing that, we want that connected to here, down to say here on the four way close as I can to level there we go to add structural reinforcement between these sections so that should stop basically strengthen up between that to reduce the amount of flex there is in that that area as an example so this is our standard now what we're now going to do is work down now we're going to try and keep with the thrust to weight ratio nearer to two to one so certainly at the very early stages it needs to be fairly high but the middle stage needs to be a little bit uh, more thrust and what i'm planning on doing it what i've tried to put up before now is long thin um unit with basically not enough thrust so we're going to try a different uh, tactic this time and get those thrust levels up for when it's still in near orbit so let's have a go at this now so okay and I've also got a plan to be able to I want to be able to put this into a high orbit which is what we would need to do for MUN etc so we want that we're gonna have that 1900 there is our uh, Delta V from orbit so we need to get four and a half thousand into our next stages uh, uh, within the, the constraints we have, which is a 36 meters tall. So what we're going to do is put this up here. Is that actually increasing in size? No, it's not. Okay, well, we'll sort that out later, how tall it's got to be. We'll, we'll leave it there for the moment. So, um, yeah, middle stage. This is going to be the stage that puts us in orbit. So. Um, I'm thinking we're going to need some fuel, obviously, and we are going for liquid powered still on these, on this section. But we're going to need a bit more power and equal power. Uh, free. Now, normally what I would have done is this, and then just put on a swivel. As you can see here, um, if I go, is that giving me that stage separated? Yes, it has uh, has separated them off. Okay, um, it's not quite separated that properly. That needs to go the other way around. That's got to go there, and that's got to go down there. Mm -hmm. Let's sort out this separation at the beginning, otherwise everything's going to go wrong. <coughs> right, so um, are we still, we're still not separating, those are not showing up as separate sections, which is a little strange. That one there, and that one should be the Terrier, which we know had 1.9. Okay, why is that stuff not showing up as a separate stage? That's a little strange. Because I haven't put a decoupler on there, have I? Dull. Let's try that. Let's find it. Put a decoupler on there. There we go. Now, let's put the fuel in there. That's better. That's a little bit better. So, uh, yes, we've got uh, that decouple there. And we need to put that now down to here. There we go. Okay. We're getting it correct now. And then we've got this decouple here. but we need uh, one this on its own section down here. Okay, so uh, 
that's given us 1200 but our thrust to weight ratio is 1.25 now I want to get that up to and actually only 0.84 um, when I'm full of fuel and 1.25 now I want to get that closer to two, to two an average of two so really I want to get the maximum to three um, and possibly this to about 1 1.5 1 1.8 so what we're going to do is normally I would add just extra stages, but what we're going to do is slightly, slightly, slightly different. We're going to try and add just elongate this stage. So I'm going to do it straight this way. Now I think four might be too many. Let's go for a dual stage here. So we need to be a little bit below that. And that needs to make sure that that connects onto the top. And we're going to have the same number of fuel tanks. There we go. And we're going to put the same engines on the bottom. So that way they should all basically um, run out at the same time. And it can be ejected as one. Now that's given us a thrust to weight ratio. Oops, I need to get those together. That one with those, so they're all together. Now we only need the single coupler because that coupler will basically eject both of them. And that's given us at 1.35 with a thrust to weight ratio of 155. Now this is our middle stage. Yeah, it might be okay, but I think I might need a little bit more. So, okay, let's go for changing this a uh, little bit. Plan two. Let's go for some swivels again. Let's let's boost this puppy up. So let's see what we can do with a four-way. So a little bit below that. make sure it gets connected to there two and three and some swivels make it swivel boy swivel on it there we go so now we have a thrust to weight ratio once I put it into the right group now I'll put you down there there we go and get rid of that one there we go thrust to weight 1.85 oh that's that's good that's gonna be more than enough to push us up I think that's must be a better much better design right now this is gonna go down in one big lump uh, as such it's not gonna split up uh, I could put it all onto lots of separate uh, connectors but what we're gonna do then just to go we'll see how this works with the uh, uh, structural we'll put a load of small the mark 16s which are nice and cheap on the top like that and we'll put them into that stage there there we go and see if how see if that will uh, allow it to come down okay next stage so that's, that's, that's not too bad that's giving us a reasonable thrust at that level and I could always if I'm going too fast I can always pull back but I'm quite happy that we won't need that right okay we'll put a couple of here now one thing I'll do structural structural is we all shall put um, some structural between each of the units there and also I think that took from the top going up this way there we go and we might need some fin stabilization because we could still well be in atmospheric at this point so we'll put some fins in there as well okay now we have this is we're getting close to liftoff stages now so we this is where we need to push up a little bit and again I want to get this this is thrust to weight ratio is even more important at this this level because this is where we are um, very close to the ground so first we'll put our uh, initial launch stage in so it's going to be four tanks four tanks and we're just going to go for the Reliant which is the maximum powered rocket we're going to go up a bit see if that's put us too high 32.9 okay no no we're not too high 
we're on that we're on the edge of too high but we're not too high but close to it okay then we're gonna follow this same pattern let's see if that's gonna give us the four the needed so down a little bit so that we don't hit on those existing engines right, I want to get it so it's linked there not with the central one two three four and uh, can I fit a parachute in there yeah we'll, we'll go with that and we'll put some more reliance on the bottom Now, if this becomes a problem, it doesn't separate, etc. What we could do is put couplers on this. So when we ditch this system, it ditches the center and all of the extra ones all in one go. At the moment, I'm just keeping this as one big section. Um, good, bad? Yeah, don't know. We'll, we'll, we, we'll, we shall find out. We shall find out, won't we? Right, so, okay, how is that doing? Let's just sort out those uh, that section. So, okay, the engines need to go up into there and the power shoots the four power shoots need to go up into there so it ejects and parachutes so we'll let the uh, the uh, stage recovery deal with that so we're okay we've got to see our thrust to weight ratio there is not great it's only one yeah I'm not happy with that I must admit that's not great um, that could be could do with being a bit better hmm see this is where the thrust to weight ratio is letting us down now we've got a 1 minute 49 second burn there so that will be burning for 1 minute 49 seconds which isn't too bad um, all, all said so yeah okay that's fine but we need that little extra oomph there so what about what about choices choices uh reduce the section size or big rockets the only uh, that we get to to burn about the same uh, that's not central let's get these as central Right, we're going to get these, we'll put these actually on, now if I do this correctly, so we've got 1 minute 49 burn, if you then right click these and then say put them down to an 80% burn, something like that, that gives them 42, 52 seconds, so that would yeah now uh, we need to do that two to one so let's put them back up there so that gives us a yes he's still not very great on that there 42 seconds if that number of boosters if, if one booster isn't enough put another one on that's uh, always a good plan, I think. No, it don't like that. That looks like it's not going to connect properly. Okay, let's put it onto this one here, like that. That's two forty twos. We'll put them together. So all those there are going together, and oh, I forgot. Put them together in here as well. So you go into there, and you go into there. We need this this two to one ratio at the start. Okay, so that that as an example would be getting my two, and we're we're actually close to a um, thing we're, like that. We're getting just under two. Okay, right. So that that's possible. What we need though is some injectors, so we're not carrying all of that weight. Um, up there so let's put some stack decoupler just a four-way stack decoupler there 
Now, something I didn't do here first is put some structural structure between them and then um, possibly here to here as well. Now, it'll disappear when it ejects it. Don't like that one. Let's go from let's go on a line that's the easiest way if I do it on a line then I know there's a good chance at least of getting it level that looks better yes yeah, so that's going to keep them nice nicely stop them moving around too much right so let's get these thumpers right so we've now put them down uh, but they are going to go up here a bit these ones into there and then these engines are going down 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 there we go okay so still we're not happy with that but what we're going to do is give it this thumper to really boost up that initial burn Need to make sure they are above the ground just right are they on the yeah they're on the decouplers that's cool so that's there, and we're going to put them into here. Now, I just realized, I did I put, yes, I have put um, thing, um, uh, parachutes on them, but not, I won't do it, worry about parachutes on the uh, solid stages. How, what's our height? 33. Well, that's not too bad. So what's our 1.66? We need more. All right, let's put, try, well, what we're simply going to do is put some thumpers on the side and we're going to do it both sides in fact what we're going to do is do that and can I go take that one and change it to dual symmetry no it's not going to let me do that is it now this is going to be a bit awkward because I've got to get this so that it is If you've got if this is out by too much, we're gonna get an instability. So we want these as symmetrical as I can get them. That's slightly down. That looks level. That looks level. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I, I like that. Now, uh, we'll put them all in the same group to start off with. And then we'll put them up into here. So we've got one heck of a initial thrust launch with all of these uh, liquid. Two, uh, sorry, 2.38, I like that. So the only one, which are a little iffier is this stage here. That's a little, uh, I'm not 100% not happy with that, but uh, let's, we'll go with it at this moment. I'm not happy that that actually took at all. So let's go from uh, line to line there. Okay, and then we'll do uh, from line to line there okay and finally let's put these in here somewhere possibly around there there's a bit of stabilization so let's see what we've got here so now <clears throat> so we've concentrated let's put these in here so it all goes at once Right, so we're concentrated on this high thrust to weight ratio at the beginning here. Which I think in my previous ones I was possibly not enough. Now one thing I could try doing is this. Let's just try pulling this down a little bit. See if we can get closer. Let's see if we can, if we set that at 90. And same for this one, 90. 
Now I've got to get them all the same, otherwise they will not stop at the same time. So I want to get this close to 2. 2.19, okay. So it's a little, they'll burn a little bit longer, but not give the quite so much oomph at the beginning, which, um, you know, it stops us over speeding. I don't want to over speed on this first section. This first section is, is quite dangerous. If you go too fast on the first bit, then I think that things are gonna start burning up. Okay, so we've got those side fuels, they'll eject, uh, they are disposable, so we're not worried about um, uh, recovering the solid fuel. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, then we've got this middle section, uh, which is still burning, and they will go off and eject, and we'll see what the uh, parachutes do for putting on these, if we need bigger parachutes, etc., for this type of level. Uh, that stage is um, pretty heavy, actually, and I am thinking at the moment that maybe four small parachutes is not enough, but uh, that's part of this exercise as well. And it's got 1.2, which is a little low. This certainly could do with extending with better engines. We've got swivels on there. No, no, we've got Renaults on there at the moment, which are the best we can get on there. But uh, I'm a little bit unhappy on this section, this uh, middle stage. And this could be what lets us down. Um, but the top stage has a good 1.81, so that's got a good thrust. So we've got a good thrust on this. This could be um, a successful sort of launcher. So now what we're going to do, take out our astronauts, because we will uh, do it without anybody on, on board. And uh, we'll just, uh, what are we going to call this? Um, yeah, we'll call it Tourist 1 for the, uh, we'll call it Tourist 1. Why not? It's, it is, its aim is to have uh, tourists, a science pod, all the rest of it on here. Uh, okay, we'll just check our structural. So we've put plenty of struts on here. We've got plenty of fins. Let's go for a launch. Um, see what happens. Oh, actually, yes, yeah, no. We'll go for, we'll go for here, unable to launch. Heavier than the 140. Uh, 140 tons okay so that's a pain um, right we've got two two options here if we exit out so we've got two options one is make it smaller that's boring the other is what will it take to upgrade whoops let's see uh, if I just click on that No, I right click. Oh, there we go. 282,000. No, that's too much. Okay. So I built a really good ship and we can't take it up to flight. But I'm going to save that. So that's what we have to aim for. But by the looks of it, we can't do it with this particular vessel. Um, but we'll leave it. We're going to create a another one what contracts have we got we're gonna create something else then but that is the ship we need to do so we need to get the 282,000 available to be able to upgrade that we have some but we need some money basically now so what have we got that we could do without that passenger module and get some good money so we won't worry about the tourist ones um, We've got a satellite for 90,000, which is good and we know we can do. Um, anything else that we can take at the moment? One, two, six. we can take one more um, contract. Let's see what contracts are available. So we've got satellite. Um, curbing, curbing, curbing. No, that's not going to give us enough money on that one. Uh, MUN, see, Storm scans of the MUN, uh, see now that's only in space flight above 730, so we'd have to get into MUN orbit at this time, which I'm not sure we're, we're working up towards, 
but haven't done and we've got this one which is minimus mun that's the usual one and explore mun um, and that's a surface so that's a landing and we have an orbit mun so okay that's worth 85,000 and this would be worth 64 so and we get a good 164 advance on this one 32 on that one oh and 119 for completion and we've actually only got to do orbits we haven't actually got a land we just have to get close uh, to the moon. Um, that's interesting so we just got to get a, a guy with free temperature probes allowing we can't do EVAs to reset them so some temperature probes above some sections on the Mun and this one we can do an orbit the Mun and that gets us another 85 yeah I think we're gonna go for this so let's go for orbit the Mun and the temperature scans and that will get us enough money uh, in those two missions so okay we'll accept orbit the Mun now because we're at the max, I'm going to get rid of this this one here. It's worth 51,000. Um, in actual fact, maybe I should do this one first. Okay. Uh, and then we can take those two ones for the MUN. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this MUN. Now I'm going to do this quickly offline. And just get uh, this EVA reports done on um, the area. So I must be just fast forward these. These are just get in the plane, land at the points, get out, get back in again. Nothing great on those. I will video it, but I'll possibly fast forward through that one. So we'll get this one sorted first. Um, so we will just need to get into the plane. And welcome back. I quickly got that little uh, uh, mission done. Basically, sort of semi did it quickly, just got the plane in the area, uh, parachuted it down, and then drove it like a car to the various three sections rather than trying to take off. But it was good enough to get that out of the way and uh, uh, get that sorted. Now, what I'm going to do now is take this uh, satellite launch, which is another quick 90k um, uh, out of the way, and also it will test the staging. Um, performance that we wanted to look at now I'll also take I think it's this which was the one which is worth a lot that's um, space around and landing so we're going to do this temperatures of the Mun first that's the other one we will take for next uh, time as well the space above near Okay, so we do need to orbit the MUN uh, potentially for this. So we're going to have a look at that, but we're going to take that one. And we're going to quickly get this satellite, which we've done before, um, but we're going to test it with this reorbiting. So, first thing to do is look at what direction is this um, uh, satellite going in. Uh, actually we got two satellites now which one are we got are we going for uh, agency reaction systems or agency struck co uh, let's see which is the one we're going for or um, uh, temperature scans position satellite um, launch new unmanned probe uh, the 8383 so it's this purple one here okay so which which direction is that going in it's going um, in a clockwise direction as we're looking at it here and where are we at this moment we are here oh actually we're close to if we launch straight away we could do this on a southerly um, orbit okay let's go for it immediate launch um, one satellite please 
so um, can't remember who it's for now but we'll uh, launch a satellite for them high orbit load one high orbit satellite uh, there we go this is, one's, is the one we've used a number of times so, okay we're going to check the staging on these three stages how that affects us this time uh, let's just check the name so I can get the uh, um, name it correctly for our itinerary this is for um, doesn't say who it is oh materials must have a materials bay ah now that's something I almost missed on that okay that's that changes things because now we have to redesign the satellite to accept a materials bay so okay let's find our materials bay and uh, first of all let's, let's see what power our stats are so we need a good 2000 here and the yeah, so okay Right, let's uh, go here materials bay materials bay first that's the science junior it hasn't got to come back uh, how much power does that give us in that whoops that's final stage uh, 2400 yeah, that's more than enough to uh, power that around and get that into orbit right what we might need is one more fuel here in this section just to make sure it gets into orbit properly a little bit more there we go um, and that's uh, for free what we'll do is take those off and put a little extra fuel in these as well in these two there we go yeah that should get us up there right we'll give this a little bit of a structural support because i'm 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 a get it becoming a big fan of the the old structural support uh where where possible just to give that little uh, um, less flexing on certain areas and uh, no okay well, let's just put that there and then we'll take that off oh, thank you right so we just need two there from that point to that point there we go might as well give it a little extra support and we're going to change these for slightly more deluxe wings just to be on the safe side nope that's not going to work Perhaps if I make it a four way that's better excellent excellent uh, and I think if I do those I can possibly take those ones off don't need both sets of those the deluxe ones will be enough so this is going to be a satellite uh, what's that IV IV um, for this is going to be a two ton So we're just going to make sure that I've set like two launcher two turn. There we go. Right, well, we'll see. Let's, let's see if this will launch. We obviously got no Kerbinaut because it's not a Kerbinaut cool type of vehicle. Right now, we might be a little length with this launch. In which case, what I'll do is I'll bring it around and then launch it on the other side. So let's have a look at this, um, where the orbit is and where we are. We are just here and yeah, I think we can go for that. So let's just check, that should be a southerly launch. I think we'll see this, yep, southerly launch. Okay, we'll go for it, we'll go for it. Um, 
let's say yes on power up just check the staging that that looks okay launch them then ooh, this this one's a little out that's got to go in with there so that launches in that so we'll now check what happens with our stage recovery program um but otherwise three two one oh, nearly, nearly. three two one go okay started off nice we're gonna go for a little southerly whoops wrong way a little southerly turn straight at the beginning now i've got to remember that the uh, down at the bottom is totally different to what's happening here so i'm going to turn it this way just so that i it's easier to understand what's happening 3000 speed is good not too much worried on the speed on this one taking the power down just a tad all right 5000 going to the five degrees excellent keeping that speed not too much 10,000 going to 10 degrees good still on the serverly to degree we can go for a high apoapsis on this because we're trying to get very high coming up for 20k that stage is gone so we'll see if we get a, a mention from stage recovery coming up to 20k going to the 45 degree mark that's 45 degrees southerly we just check to make sure we are on a southerly vector yes that is going southerly which is cool now we just got to keep this uh burning full power at 45 degrees get that apoapsis up as high as it will go we could possibly do this slightly more efficient but uh, i think this will be fine i think this will be fine we could go into an orbit first then bring it in but i think just trying to make the apoapsis we've got to go up to our eight and a half million apoapsis so there's no point in just holding back on this first little section we might as well just go for a effectively a, a maximum burn on this first stage um, and get that apoapsis use all the fuel we can to get that apoapsis up as high as it can and then we can uh, modify at the the maximum apoapsis for getting into the correct orbit because we're not after a an orbit here we are you know a low orbit we are after a, a high apoapsis orbit on this uh, particular um, launch so we're at 160 which is good three minutes that gives us a good amount of time i want to get that that time up i don't mind that it's, the time is creeping up on this gives us plenty of time then let's go for as i say a maximum apoapsis burn here Three hundred seventeen. that's looking good i've got fuel left at the moment and we've still got all the fuel left we need for the next section which is good oops wrong way let's head, start heading that way which will be the next excellent that's given us a one million right we're going to give this a quick uh, burn just so that it gets used to it there we go right now what we're going to do we've got a high nice high apoapsis there we're going to point our, our AP and see if we can get this lined up roughly so at the AP maneuver node so we need to push out our periapsis up towards that that apoapsis that looks good 8.3 and we need one of them to be about 8.3 yeah so it's about 8.3 we need it it's a bit that's a bit high eight three that's good right okay is that and that has got an interception which is excellent so let's just see if we can bring it back though in line as well okay that's brought that nicely in line i think yeah 
that's not too bad at all that's not too bad at all right now we'll just bring that back with a little retrograde there that looks lovely that looks lovely 8376 that's not too bad I think we needed eight one of them's got to be 835 there we go that's a, a nice burn let's see what that is actually as far as fuel goes 987 34 seconds I think that might be a little short but we'll, we'll do it about 20 seconds too let's get ourselves lined up first of all let's see where the sun is sun's over there so we should be fine for um, keeping something pointed at the sun and keeping power on this uh, burn okay yep we're not a problem we don't have a solar panel right at the sun on this so that's perfectly fine we'll give a little bit of time warp yeah let's time warp it a little bit more there we go don't want to go over though i'm going to stop at the two minutes two roughly as we know what I'm like for suddenly going over. Okay, that's two minutes. Okay, getting ready for the burn. Are we still on target? Yeah, we are on target. And go. So I've given that a little extra beginning more than I needed to but okay we're going to bring down the throttle a little bit here that should be fine check and basically watching the periapsis height will be the thing that I'm going to watch so we need 835 10 seconds left bringing the speed down just to give us a little bit of a tick plus time three Eight three is our target. Five, six, seven. Eight three. Let's just see if uh, I'm trying to remember what we're we're actually after. Eight three five seven. That's that's not bad. Not bad. Okay, we'll go. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. That's. Oh, we'll accept that. And now at our next apoapsis, we're going to put a manoeuvre mode in again. How's our fuel? Our fuel is okay. I'm hoping with this is going to be a lot easier uh, to get. So that's going to be eight three. So we should. I think that will be enough to get us close enough so that they will accept that 242 estimated burn one second so yeah we've got enough fuel we should have enough fuel on that and it's in one day okay so let's uh, come off of that let's aim in it now I'm not I'm not trusting that one second but I think it will be close enough that they're not gonna turn they're not going to complain hang on a second let's just get back onto that that marker where's the sun as well sun is there so we're going to be aiming straight at the sun by looks of it Excellent. That seems to be dot on. That's good. Now we've got a couple of mails here, and this is from the stage recovery. So let's see what have we got here. Let's have a look at this information that it gives us. So this was a uh, radial decoupler fuel tank 
Reliant liquid fuel engine and a Mark 16. So we recovered 87.7% uh, because of the distance and speed. So let's see, inf more information. Terminal velocity was 7.9. So that's why it was 89.9. Uh, that's, that's fine. So that we know that a two fuel tanks with one of those is okay. So if we've got a more than two fuel tanks, we possibly need the uh, larger one. What's this other stage? And the other stage is the identical. So we got 2,400 funds back um, for that, which is excellent. So we got some um, funds back from the recovery. The other one might still be um, in space at this moment. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see, have we got debris? Where is the debris? It might not be showing up at this moment on here. Uh, okay, there it is there. So that's still going to be coming in um, yet. So hopefully we'll get another one on that. Okay, let's move up to this um, marker. We haven't got it any, uh, we're not going to do a transmit of, of our uh, details here of, of science. We're just going to try and get to that manoeuvre node. So in five hours and 59 minutes. I'm sure it was showing one day a little while ago, but we'll check it. Well, actually, let's just go and check to make sure that everything is correct with this manoeuvre node. Yeah, I mean, the periapsis and the aporapsis are slightly skew with but I think that will be within uh, required deviation the deviation is quite high I'm sure real satellites they don't have um, they have a lot stricter <laughs> as such as to how much of a deviation you can have all right not to go any more than a thousand because um, I'm gonna go straight over otherwise all right two all right one hour now, 30 minutes, twenty minutes. Just taking it down slowly so I don't go over. I'm I'm paranoid now about going over. So if anything, I'm a little slow. But uh, I think slow is better. Right. I'm still worried about that one that one second because I don't think that that can't be right. Um, One minute. Right, okay, so I'm gonna do the speed up slowly because if it is only one second, I'm gonna do about, uh, about five seconds too, but then just do a very little, small amount of burn. Um, and that way, if it's totally wrong, I can quickly put the power up. And we'll just have to keep an eye on that periapsis. So let's see. Yeah, I thought that was a little too hopeful. Okay, let's hold that there. 8342. Oh, we've got a red stage destroyed. Okay, so our other stage. Um, uh, con contains these parts bomb on bomb uh, terminal velocity stage burned up in your it was traveling uh, okay so that one the problem with that one was that really high angle return was just too much for it okay that's good that, that means it's not automatic you have to be coming in at a reasonable speed too much and it's just not done accept it and our contract is complete here we have put put this into orbit that which has given us a good 90 and a bit of science which is always excellent so another satellite positioned by Dell's astronautical team giving out some nice science and while we're here let's just do an observe materials take them and what we can do is just we can't return it so we're going to transmit it Let's transmit that data. 
we might as well not enough electrical charge oh it's getting there it's getting there let's see if we can give it a little bit of turn that panel into the sun there we go Did it finally send it? I think it's sending it in spots as the electrical charge becomes available. Um, that is in the sun. It should be getting a good bit of charge at the moment. We'll just put that that way just to be on the safe side. Get in that sunlight. Charge up. Feel those rays. Now I think it is still it's still broadcasting still basically at the moment. Uh, so I've just got to keep it in satellite range until it's finished. So it's done 38.46, which is uh, not too bad. Whoops, where are you going? Don't want you... That was bad. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to uh, press a totally different key. I'm going to press the caps lock and I press Z instead, which is, uh, um, sorry, shift instead, which is not intended. So what are we up to? 46%. Okay, let's just time warp that up. Not having used the Communicom before, I didn't realise uh, how much electricity that required to send the information. But I suppose it's like sending it down a uh, very bad telephone line. Um, and it just takes a while to send. So, batteries. Definitely need batteries in the future. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so now it's done. Let's back up there. We can put the SAS back on. It is happy. Okay. What we're now going to do is um, go back to the Space Center. And see all the, the lovely bits we've got. So we've got a nice 110.7 of science now, which is very useful. We've got 540, which means we can upgrade um, this. Um, the launch site, which means we are no longer restricted um, on our launch activities, unlimited launch facilities. Excellent. And just while we're here, can we? What can we use our science for? We're at a limit. We've got 110. Let's see if there's anything in here that we can use um, that science for, which would be useful for the Mun areas. Um, now I'm thinking rocketry. Let's see, we've got these Skipper and the Poodle, which has a, what's the ISP on that? 350, that's going to be handy. And the Skipper liquid engine has a very good thrust. Look at that thrust, 568. Um, that's not bad, but does it require the larger fuel tank? It's potentially possible that this skipper engine 
is actually designed for, it looks like it's for 2.5 um, meter area. Uh, yeah, so we might need both. So we'll go with what we've got at this moment, although the external fuel duct could mean we could do a slightly, uh, we can have a look at um, a different fueling system. Uh, this 800 is a better, holds a better fuel for the cost and, and stability, so maybe that's a good idea. Um, anything else that's really required? No, uh, that's not really. That's all aerodynamics, which I'm not needing. Advanced flight controls, uh, not at this stage. The clampertrons later. Okay, we're going to go for this fuel system here because there's a couple of very good parts which I'm liking the idea of here. So we're going to research the um, these particular parts that will help with building our next rocket. Excellent. Okay. So um, there was our uh, astronautics a little bit better so we went through and saw how the stage recovery works which is I think is a very good thing for um, certainly in the camp in the uh, uh, career mode it also gets you there's a reason for possibly having stages um, being launched out whilst it's still atmospheric or suborbital but that that obviously that high stage one was just too fast so there's a reason possibly to say, right, let's go just minorly suborbital and then have a, a bigger, st so you can jettison that large stage off so it's recovered and then do your second, your, your final stage pushes from a, a um, low orbital trajectory. Um, so there, there is possible reasonings there to, um, no, to, to have a, a, another little mini stage or just have that last before you're in orbit have come back in when it's got all of the valuable engines and everything on board. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed that or is it, uh, found something else new. I know I did. So until next time when we will be doing a MUN visit hopefully. I've um, not been around the MUN so this is going to be interesting working out all of the things we have worked out so far. Um, from a uh, high orbit, pushing out to the MUN, um, getting an intersection and pushing it all the way out there. The first visit may well be an unmanned visit to save one of our pilots because um, I don't know how much Delta V we're going to need. I'll try and look it up but um, I've not done it. So that's all part of the way I like playing this game. It's uh, you know, experimenting as we go along in career mode. So until next time, have fun.